I've got a little bit of a fan base here, look. I don't know why they all wait for me in the morning. Because you're not coming out, you've got enough space in there now. For a thousand chickens. Plenty of food still in there. Have they provided me with some? Oh, you little beauty. Would you look at that? I think that was yesterday's egg, to be fair. Make sure they've not laid anywhere else in the pen. They might have laid, possibly in the hay bales or something like that, because we've not had a brown egg for a while, usually off her. So I might nip in there later on and check, because I think I'm going to start to set up the automatic um, door opener. Right, Dom's here to help me wire up a solar panel on the roof of the shed which will give us lights in here and hopefully at some point maybe won't get it done today because it'll need a little bit more fettling but an automatic chicken door opener mm. so in the morning and in the evening they can uh, let themselves in then the door will close and then in the morning the door will open and they can escape what's Reggie doing? Have you got a stick, Reg? Bring it, Reg. That looks like a tasty stick, Reggie. There's lots of mud on it. Very nice. So, we've got a cup of tea. And I've got a nice coffee. And I think what we're going to do first, Dom, is we'll put a shelf up in this corner. And everything can live in this corner. And then we'll wire up the uh, battery and everything else to the control board and then we'll pull all the cables off to go where we need them to uh, to the panel to the light switch and all that kind of jazz right that's our shelf up the test is is it going to hold the weight of the battery jesus that was hard to do with a left hand but yes is the answer so the battery can live up there in that corner I think we'll keep these tops on but we'll just pull these side clips out and then that'll give us uh, access to the terminals without exposing the terminals to any anything that might land on it and probably nothing will she's letting us know while we're studying here doing this solar panel she's just laid an egg look dom's fetched it out it's still wet it's not managed to dry yet do you want to go and pop it on the rack yes where's that uh, just in the kitchen, oh, yeah. behind the breadboard duck. Don't run and drop it. There we go. So that was her. So she's laying the brown eggs. Thank you very much, madam. Right, we're all wired up. Go on then, Don. What do we do? There we are. In the shed light. So I can expand from here. I've put a little chocolate block there or terminal block. And there, so we can add more lights if we want to. And for those who have not seen one of these, really cheap, the whole setup, excluding the battery and the cable work, it was like a solar panel and this charge controller was like, I don't know, 30 quid. So you can see that uh, the power out is going to this little buzz bar that I've made. One of it's going to the light, the other one will go to wherever we want to feed a little bit of power to. Um, the battery is being charged up by the solar panel at the minute it's holding 12.3 volts and the solar panel is underneath so we'd probably get more power actually if it wasn't underneath the uh, what do you call it the plastic roof sheeting yeah. but regardless that's up there we've just got a wire coming down and into the shed but I just thought it protects it from the elements a little bit by having that up there. And yeah, she's charging. So Dom's just turned the power off, jumped up to 12.4. It's draining 0.1 volt, look, oh, a couple of volts. Wonder what amps they're running at. Very little. These LED lights were from eBay as well. So we've got these 80% energy saver. But TA car LED tubes uh 
I can't see the wattage on it. So I'll be guessing. But I want to thought there are a lot. I want to thought they've got a high wattage on there at all. Because they're LEDs of course. And then this is what we've got for the automatic chicken door opener. A um a car antenna and that's going to run alongside a couple of 12 volt timers and these timers well one of them initially is just to operate this door in the morning and evening and then the other one will be to operate a light in the morning in the chicken roost just in case I want to extend their winter laying hours I might not do that yet it might be a bit selfish on the chickens let them be a little bit more natural and have a malt in the winter is probably the best thing to do. But we shall see. It's there if I want it to be used. And these timers again, just a couple of quid on eBay. Probably the most expensive thing was the uh, solar panel. And maybe this, this might have been nine or ten quid, I can't remember. We've also made the pen three-dimensional. And they're taking advantage of it already, look at that. She's straight up there. Having a neb. I'm very pleased to see him enjoying the new surroundings. And I was just checking the food, look at that. Not a pellet on the floor. No waste at all. That's uh, that's perfect because they can't get really in there to dig it all out, you see. Oh nice work, buddy. It's really good, isn't it? That I put one up there on that side as well. Look for them to get up. It allows them to get up and out the way. Look, she's attacking. She's attacking her. So it just gives them somewhere to hide. I think this black one's a bit of a bully. I think she's the neck pecker. Possibly. She's coming down to probably attack her. Oh no, she wants to come out. Look. Go back up your climbing frame. I'm blocking your back in. Right, one last thing before we sign off for the day and go back indoors. I've put this timer up here. I don't have the connectors underneath, so I've just bodged it for now. And you can see that that's uh, on at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I've set it to come off at 10. Um, so when this is on, it's just a little relay on these two contacts here. So I'll have live coming into one of them, or pop. Positive, positive. <laughs> Going into one of them, and then when obviously the relay is active like this, then it will go and deliver 12 volts to this green cable, which I've got the earth and it's not the earth, is it? It's the positive and negative for this remote car aerial or automatic car aerial wired up already to the uh, power. And then if we have live on this third cable, a signal cable, then this is what happens. And there we go. So that extending, by my reckoning, will operate a pulley of some type. And that pulley will pull the cable for the chicken shed door and open it and then at night when this relay closes or opens again or turns off we remove power to the green cable and hey presto the door will close on the chickens so I think that is a good little project and then obviously the power required to do this is coming from this big old battery. There's plenty of reserves in there. And it's just going to be constantly topped up. I've got the lights on as well at the same time. So we can see that it's definitely got enough juice to cope with it. Just wondering how powerful it is. Whether it's going to be strong enough to push and pull the weight of a door. If not, I can add a counterbalance to the door as well. Which will enable it to cope just needs a little push from this then but that's it 
wrapping it up for Sunday. I'll get this on the editing block. Hopefully, it'll be up uh, not too in the not too distant future. And we'll see you on the next one, boys and girls. Thank you very much. Chicken dinner.